Welcome everyone into my channel Saskiano with UMD. If this is your first visit to our channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification button. Do not forget to leave your feedback and your suggestions down below in the comments. This will help me to improve the content of our channel. Whenever you are working with full screen video and you want to cut in the element out of its background or remove it from the background, you will want to use a layer mask. In this video, we are going to do just that we will isolate the shark from the ocean background and insert it over the top of some graphic elements here. So, I will make sure the visibility of the layer 1 is on and I will select layer 1 and I will grab my current indicator and scrubbing the timeline and you can see that we are working with video. Let us create a still frame since we only need a still of the shark over the graphic I will move my current time indicator to where my marker says freeze at 2 seconds in the timeline. Then with layer 1 selected, I will go open layer. Go down to time. And choose freeze frame. Now when I scrub you can see it is just as though this layer was a still which is exactly what we want. To better see what we are going to cut out. Let us press the period key to zoom in the composition panel. Then press and hold down my spacebar which will grab my hand tool. And then I can just click and drag in the composition panel to reframe. Then I will let go of the spacebar. Let us grab a pen tool out of the tool panel. I am going to click and hold because you may have one of these other tools active. Just make sure that you have chosen the topmost pen tool. And we will start down here on the belly of the shark just before its fin. And I will just click once, and that is going to add a mask to that layer. Now, let us go to the mouth area and click and drag and notice as I drag we are creating handles. So, I can rotate these handles around to change how the mask moves between each one of these anchor points. And more important also controls how the path actually moves through each anchor point. So, let us go to the nose here and click and drag. And you will notice now I have a little bit of a kink in the path. And that is fine because right now we just want to make sure that we have handles. And past points at the key areas along with the shark. So here I will click and drag. To create handles just at the base of the dorsal fin. I will click and drag to add more handles up here. And again, it is fine that the passes of the shape because we are going to go back and refine that a little bit later. For smaller detailed areas like this, I am going to create much shorter handles but I am still clicking and dragging. When I get to this area here, I can see it has got a little fan there, but I am just going to go ahead and drop that off because it is really hard to see. And I will just continue on creating this shape. Now once we have created the basic shape when you get back to the first point, you will get a little circle that is letting you know that you are going to close the mask. So, once I click on this it is closing the mask. And you can see the shark is now appearing over the top of my graphic. Now let us refine the shape I am going to show you the key commands that you can use to refine the shape. And then I will just fast forward through all the fine tuning adjustments. Because you do not need to sit through that. So, the first thing I will do is move over an anchor point. And I still have the pen tool active here from the tool panel. So, when you click on an anchor point it brings up both these handles. Now I can reposition the anchor point like so. If I adjust the handles they adjust on both sides. If I were to adjust the handle only on one side. I am going to hold down option. On the Mac. Or Alt. On Windows. And click on that one handle. And that is going to break the translation between these two handles. So, I am going to hold down Alter Option and just fine tune the movement of the pass over this one little point. I can do the same thing here holding Alter Option. Now, if you hold down Alter Option and then click on the path, it will change it from having handles to not having handles. So, I want you to feel free to go through and fine tune the mask. And make your adjustments making sure you would notice the difference between just clicking and dragging directly on a point. Versus clicking and dragging while holding the Alter Option key down to get a more refined adjustment for the path over that specific area. 
and I will rejoin you here in just a few. All right, once you have something you like to go back up to the tool panel and grab the selection tool. And then you can click directly on layer 1. Then I will press the comma key to zoom out. And I will just click on the shark and reposition it within the scene. So, you can see once you need to isolate an element out of its background, if it is a rather complex shape you definitely want to use the pen tool. What you learned. Use the pen tool to create a layer mask to cut out an object from its background, create a freeze frame of the frame used for the cutout one. Move the current time indicator to the frame where the element to isolate looks the best. 2. Select the layer to freeze in the timeline. 3. Choose layer time freeze frame. Use the pen tool to cut out the element from its background 1. Select the pen tool from the tools panel in the upper left. 2. Add points at the key points around the object, eventually clicking back on the first point to close the mask. Click to add a point, click and drag to add a point and draw out handles. 3. Adjust the anchor point positions and handles to fine-tune the placement of the mask. Here we go we are done for today. Do not forget to leave your comment down below to help me to improve the content of the channel. See you next time. Goodbye.